good friend of mine came here to visit my workshop and this is what he said to me. Huh, a shaper. Shapers are slow, they leave a crappy finish and there's absolutely no precision. You understand that immediately our friendship ended here. If uh, everything goes well, he will be able to eat without assistance in about three weeks in his hospital bed. This week I also received a few stickers from other YouTubers and I will put them on because I need my glasses to line them up. I'm not gonna do that on camera and we will talk about it just a bit after this stick on. We have Tom from Hilltop Machine Works. Uh, Tom, what he does, uh, it's very simple, he's just building a brand new workshop, that's all. Normal people would build a tool holder or something, Tom, he builds a workshop. And he's got a magnificent shepherd dog, it's even on his envelope. And Tom sent me also this transparent yellow sticker. That's beautiful, but I'm not gonna stick this on, on the door because the, the yellow and the color of the cheap door will not match. I will find something else. Joseph from Raptors Machine Tool. Look the beautiful letter he sent me and a spare sticker too. That's always nice to have, a second one. Now, Joseph, what he does, I don't understand the nothing. He's in a CNC building things, he's making a, a CNC machine from his uh, bridge port and I think that's fantastic. When I watch his videos, I always open mouth, I, I don't understand a thing of, of what, he, what he explained, but he's a smart guy, he's really good. Check him out. All the way from Tasmania. Greg's workshop. Greg, if you have the impression that your sticker is a bit out of line with the others, uh, it's not a doll, it's um, because of the lens of the camera. <sighs> that was a close one. Greg, when he's uh, doing machine works, he's working metals and he's working wood. This guy, he is precision. When you think, okay, you can stop, that's good enough, he continues at least 10 levels more. It's fantastic what he does. You really sh should go check him out. He's a really nice guy and I think he's an artist. Randy Richard in the shop. He sent me an old bunch of uh, stickers and a nice little letter that goes with it. Now, what I like uh, really much in Richard's videos, he explains very well, he's this, this really cool, nice guy knows, he knows what he's talking about and for the moment he's restoring the cement mixer. But when I say restoring, he's coming up with setups on his machines that for you and me maybe it's impossible to do, he does and it works. You really could go on his uh, YouTube channel and check him out. He's fantastic. Hey Randy, stop doing what you're doing. Look, 160 for a brand new one. And look at that color. Greg, he sent me this letter with the stickers and he says Love your sense of humor. Richard sent me this handwritten letter with the stickers. And he says, enjoy your videos. Great humor and editing. Joseph, he writes me, your videos are fantastic. Love the sense of humor. I start to think you guys were sitting together to write this, isn't it? About 20 years ago I bought 
this scribe. The point is a really a point. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good one, it's a good one. And a week or two ago, he decided to start living his own life. He spread his wings and started to fly. And fly so high, come so close to the sun, that the wax that was holding the feathers was starting to melt and then he fell down and of course with its point right on the concrete since then doesn't work anymore okay I can maybe use it but the really a point broke off and I tried to regrind but it's not in the middle, it's not centered anymore. And at that very moment the postman comes and he shows me this. This comes from Randy Richard in a shop. He's making this with a nice point, a really pointy point, and I can prove now that it's mine because he did put my name on it. I have no idea how you could know that I needed a new one because the other one broke but thank you in this video we should talk about uh, the finish on a part in a shaper and how precise is the shaper so enough talking about stickers let's go to the shaper and find out Uh, shaper is that way. Now to make good parts on a shaper of course we need to know if the table is really parallel with the ramp. We also gonna check how much backlash there is. You can hear it. The backlash of course is not that important because we can take it out with the feet mechanism, that's not a problem. We need to know if the ram, the left and right, if there's a t movement or not. So let's install the indicator. Raise the table. Preload. Between end of stroke and beginning of stroke, the difference is about one half of a hundredth of a millimeter. This is five micron. 5 micron difference for a machine that's my age I think that's decent here's more difference forty microns left and right movement So the biggest difference that I have measured on this surface is almost one tenth of a millimeter. I think for an old machine as this one that will do. Let's push. My push hard. I have two hundredths of a millimeter almost nothing 
to check if there's any RAM movement, I put here a square part of a tree and a piece of hammer, or what's left of it. Let's do the test. Seven hundredths of a millimeter. Question. Can we use the T-slots as a reference? Not even two hundredths of a millimeter. So I suppose, yes, we can. Side to side movement of the RAM. Five hundredths of a millimeter. Now, for this machine, I have no paperwork, I have no specifications, so I have no idea how much end play this RAM can have. So, what I do, I do it by feel. I can move the RAM by hand easily, and I feel there is no end play, so I suppose that will do. But if you have papers for your machine, always check the papers. You never know. This is uh, 21, zero, 21. A little bit more than two tenths of a millimeter. Let's check the made in China vice. Almost no movement. I'm gonna put it on the other way. That's a difference of one hundredths of a millimeter. Two hundredths of a millimeter. And here we go to three, three hundredths of a millimeter. Now, of course, if we want to test this machine, we're not going to test the vise. So I'm going to take it off again, put a part on, and make a cut. And then we'll see what we have. I've got a nice little block here. I cleaned up a while ago. I put an arrow on it and the arrow will go that way. So after we can see what happens if it is difference if it's the front or the back side. Now of course this is not a rock solid setup but I'm gonna like take very light cuts with the shear tool and normally that should do. As you can see the clapper box is horizontal. Normally you work with the clapper box in an angle in the feet direction. Always look in the feet direction. I put it horizontal and let me explain you why. This is the surface of the part being cut. Of course I uh, draw it a bit too much. And this is the cutting tool. On the backstroke, the cutting tool is moving so fast it lifts itself. And after a while, it falls down. Now, during the time the cutting tool is in the air, the feed mechanism moves. So the cutting tool will fall down on top of this edge and never on the surface. So after finish you will never have all these dents in the finished surface. That's the secret. Every time the tool falls, it falls here, makes a dent here and on the next cut will take it off. 
leaves a way better finish. What did we say about finish? You can see that there's a line in the beginning. The beginning was without cutting oil and after about five millimeter I used cutting oil and you can see the difference in the finish. Now that this surface is done maybe we can start making our measurements. This was the first site I cleaned up a few days ago and if you talk about finish I think that will do this side we just finished I don't know if you can see the line I was talking about and the feed mechanism left a little bit of dings here in this line I'm not sure you can see that I will turn a bit zero zero what do you think of that? I think we can conclude shapers are not slow if you use them at the correct cutting speed shapers can be precise it's very easy to fix it if something goes wrong and of course shapers can leave a perfect surface finish thanks for watching